자 여러분들 안녕하세요 마랑입니다 자 오늘은요 참 대단하신 분 모셨죠 어, 제 친구인데 라이언 테리라고 2023년 올림피아 피지크 1위를 했던 세계 1위 우리 라이언 테리입니다 에이 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 Looking forward to reviewing this with you. 일단 뭐 아시다시피 시작하기 전에 우리 라이언도 그렇고 저도 그렇고 우리 엠베세더예요. 네, 마이 프로틴 많이 부탁드리고. 저희가 이제 유튜버들끼리 했던 이제 바디빌딩 대회가 있어요. 이제 그게 쇼미더 바디라고 하는데 아 우리 라이언들과 <웃음> 한번 이제 보면서 네, 또 피드백도 주시고 일단 그거 한번 보도록 하겠습니다. Five months ago, last November. Yes, yeah, the same like as me then. Thousand yeah. fans came. I love the setup of the uh, oh. the stage as well. Phenomenal, nice, good condition, striation through his chest. A nice quad separation. Good vacuum as well, which is impressive. Yeah, got separation from his hamstring to his quad as well, which is good. Yeah, he's well balanced. With a bit more thickness on his arm, you know, just to bring that thickness to the upper body. So this guy's a bit more thicker, muscle bellies, a bit bigger. Is he older? How much older is he? Uh, 39? 39? He's yeah. oldest. Yeah. Just be tighter through the glutes and hamstrings, they could come out a little bit more, but yeah, his back is looking solid. Me personally would like to see better transitions. So for me, like with bodybuilding, I think your posing is really really key he's got good when he hits his poses like brilliant but mm. see when he was like stepping off and not quite doing his transitions as smooth uh, maybe it's just nerves or maybe it's like the buzz of it all but like when he hits these poses it's, it's really good so he's wearing um what, what tan do they call it i know it's a lot in asia you, you use this tan oh, yeah, it's like, like a gold the gold oh, tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the cable's <laughs> like a long cap stuck to his leg in it yeah it's sticky yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some might say it's an advantage because it does end height in every, every yeah, muscle fibre and, and cut. But it, yeah, so I would say if you're going to go in like a show what's going to be really judged heavily, they'd all have to have the same tan. Maybe the same. Because we all use pro tan for, uh, for the Olympia. So basically, he's a cheater. <laughs> you're a cheater? I didn't say that. <laughs> you look great. Right. <laughs> but can you see all of his, uh, his pants as well? Like yeah. the, the gold's going everywhere. Um, because it just sits on top of the skin, it doesn't soak in. So, yeah, it's messy. So you don't use that tan in Olympia. We're not allowed to use that tan. No. no. Okay. So yeah, just because, like I say, it just it wrecks all the venue, and it just yeah. And, okay. so it does look great though. But it's just... been doing like illegal things. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No. Don't bring that to UK or US. Right. I like this. There's more to the show rather than it just be. Visually, and then this guy, yes, he this won guy. the fiscal 100. Yeah, you, oh, you know he? him? No, so I don't know about it, but I know the physical 100. That's yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. so he's, he's, uh, he's the crossfitter, yeah. different breed. These crossfitters, <laughs> yeah, his condition is fantastic. Awesome midsection, massive fan of his midsection. Always been someone who likes that symmetry. So if you was to put a mirror down the, the, the side of it, it'd be symmetrical either side. Yeah, great condition. Look, his intercostals and his obliques. Yeah, great vacuum, great stage presence. Oh, he's, he's like thigh. Yeah, you can see his glutes are striated yeah. as well. Awesome. Obviously, if you want to be critical, it, it just in if you want to go to the US or the UK, you just need more size, more thickness. Conditions there, shapes there. It just obviously, if you're looking at the likes of Chris Bumstead, that type of. Uh, yeah, physique, if you're looking at classic, then you, you need a lot more muscle tissue, but he looks great. His legs are separated as well. Fantastic. He's got that swagger already, I can see. He's walking on with swagger. Yeah. He's just saying, that's it. Wow. <laughs> that's it. You, you're a bodybuilder. You're not the like, singer or something. So, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Are you looking? I'm sorry. I definitely can't say <laughs> that. <so I'm> out. <laughs> He's looking good, to be fair to him. His arm was like strongest. Yeah, was it? Yeah. Well, calisthenics though, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. his own body weight. Impressive. He's got the gold tan on, you can see it's all over his, his uh, pants as well. 
Nice. Got good posing. Now that I have massive respect for. So I started in gymnastics, so similar to calisthenics, and oh, I was just blown away by it. Yeah, it was right. absolutely amazing. But when I chose bodybuilding, I had to kind of step away. But yeah, that upper body strength is amazing. So he doesn't know what he's doing. He's, it looks good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Back. Yeah. Very, but again, he knew what he was doing there. So his back was impressive. So he finished with his back shot. That's something I always say is quite important in, in men's physique or in any, in any uh, class. When you start putting your posing routine together, you always start with your best pose and finish with your best pose. Just so it's like that everlasting look to the judge and to the, the audience. So yeah, he did well there. I chose the last. Because um, you want you want to go on last. I want to be like a main character. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> want to be all about me. Yeah. But like uh, it was, uh, but it was a mistake because right after I finished this, um, you go straight back on. Yeah, I was like, I get a cramp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a, difficult, it's a difficult one because I always, because I'll go on last now for the Olympia, I'll be the, la the last one to go on. It's good in the fact that you can see everybody go on before you, mm -hmm. you can then time how long roughly each one of them is doing it, and then backstage you can then start to pump up when you want. Even though you cramped up, you still did the right. So he's the cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else, this guy's yeah. the cheater. You've even got separation in your chest there. A very dramatic, good lighting. <laughs> <laughs> no, joking, <laughs> looking good. So you haven't gone for the uh, the gold tan. No. Look good, really good. Because it's not too dark. It's not gold. Obviously going everywhere, looking messy. But the uh, the glaze is good as well because you can over glaze. So that was yeah. It does look like pro tan or jan tanner. Why were you, you like, like were you embarrassed? Because about you're you're number one in the world. But why were you embarrassed watching that? Because <laughs> you look good. You can see you was embarrassed. No, it was good. Why you do that quarter turn? It's to try and show separation from your glute, your hamstring, your quad, uh, make sure your calf, everything really, your calves, how thin your waist is, but how big your lat and how th thick your back mm -hmm. is. So it's quite a lot to it. Doing like that thing. Ah, uh, yeah, the kind of studies guys, yeah. so with the tan. Yeah. And this one is cheater. Kick. Cheater. <laughs> cheater. Right, and okay. And Nice, okay, yeah. you're there. Top four, yeah. and then you have to choose three because there is uh, another top three too. Can you choose three? Yeah, so these three. So you, uh, calisthenics, and CrossFit. Oh, all right. Good at that, Yeah. CrossFitter is very, very conditioned. He's, there's nothing to come off there. He's, uh, he's peeled to the bone. <coughs> so, can you pick? Ah, oh, you're killing me. Yeah? <laughs> this is a difficult one. So I've, I've got CrossFitter in one. Uh huh. His hamstrings and glutes are in further mm -hmm. than yours, or yeah. whether you're not pressing your knee against your other leg enough to, to get that cut through your, yeah. your hamstring. It could just be that. So top half you've got him there, bottom half I would say he's winning that. So it's your neck and neck on that shot. Okay. You've got more symmetry. So you've got more symmetry uh -huh. with your legs and you're hitting your leg positions better than he is. The, the, the one that on the Yes, line, right? yeah, yeah. So overall, I think this show is brilliant. I'm well impressed. The actual theme behind it, like so all YouTubers, the, the, the production of it is fantastic. The stage is amazing. The fact you've all got, you've all come from different backgrounds, all yeah, still right. sporting background, that like you've all, um, it's hard to judge because of that, because you're not all trained for, for stage. Um, but yeah, I think I'm really impressed with it. How you judge <laughs> these top three? How do you judge them? Yeah. So you look for symmetry, symmetry, condition, condition, shape, shape, stage presence. There's this, this so much to it. Condition, condition. and you could even say um, if you look really into it, which I don't normally talk about. Talk about it's like the mind to muscle connection. So, which I mean by that is when you're hitting your poses, you've got control over your muscles. So if you can hold the pose for long, if you don't start shaking, because that always goes against you as well. If you, because that shows that you've not done the work beforehand, so you've got in shape, you've done all that, but you've kind of neglected the little bits where you're not hitting your poses, practice to them. Um, so that's when you get really intricate. So on stage at the Olympia, if because the standard's so good now and everyone's so so close, the top 10 can go either way. So they look for the, the most finest things to be able to mark you down on. So if you're stood next to one and you're shaking, mm -hmm. 
that's showing that you haven't got control of your muscle and you're struggling. So little things like that. And which one is the most important among those? Among ah, that's hard because it's it's a combo. It's it's putting them all together because uh -huh. you're better off getting a, a five out of ten across the board rather than getting a nine out of ten and then a one out of ten. So it's all about putting. It's trying to judge all of them all together. So I don't think one's more than the other. Right. Um, but if you had to, probably shape, shape. would be the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just purely because if you're you're not conditioned, you're still showing that you've got that shape. Whereas if you're really conditioned and you're blocking, you haven't got that shape, you, you, there's nothing you can do with that. All right. Okay. So, okay. 23 Olympia winner, champion. Yeah, that's crazy you're saying three that. Picks. <laughs> you, can, you can just pick. You're we, done. Oh, you're done already. I'll go. The, the, the third one. So we're going third? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go calisthenics guy. All right. Oh, <laughs> okay. We'll go and second? No, no, I mean the winner. The winner? Yeah. So you're second and then uh, <laughs> CrossFit guy first. All right. Okay, that's all right. I'm big. But you know what? You that's, won. That's you. No, I got second. Oh, did you? Yeah, you, you did the you same, yeah. Right. Cool. So I know my stuff. His name is Amoti. 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 So he'll never bodybuild again because he, <laughs> <laughs> he hates the, the bodybuilders. The thing is, it's one of those things as well, and you've, you've hit the nail on the head when I asked you earlier. You either, when you step off stage, you either get the bug and you want to get back on stage and you love it, yeah. or you completely hate it and you never no, want to do I, it again. I, like to go back. <laughs> but I know that's how like, difficult it is. Yeah. So I need like kind of like strong motivation. Like incentive. Yeah, and, but the yeah, show was like my strong motivation. Thank uh, you, if friend. I do uh, another season two, yeah. Then he must come. <laughs> yeah, you've got to. Yeah, yeah got that's to. The, that's, so that's the same for me. That's what's always fueled me up. Is if somebody's ever beat me, it literally eats away at me, right, yeah. to the point where I have to beat him. So, on stage now, so there's not one men's physique guy out there. Like obviously in the program that I've not beaten, and now I feel complete. It's weird. It, it, like with Jeremy Buendia, for instance. He was obviously beating me all those years, and until I beat him, there was just he was the only one driving me because I knew I'd beat everybody else. I knew I was worthy of being up there, but there was still somebody I'd not beaten, so technically he was better than me. So it's yeah, it can go two ways. You can think, well, there's no point because he's four times yeah. Mr. Olympia. I don't want to do it. Mm. Whereas for me, and the same for Brandon Hendrickson. So Brandon for me was a huge driving force because. Mm. In the early days, I was always beating Brandon, and then I had a, quite a, a serious accident with my hip, and I had three hip surgeries in 2018. So as I was recovering from that, I was on crutches, I was getting smaller, Brandon was getting bigger, and he went and won the title, which was meant for me in 2018. So, oh, the, the fire that gave me, because I was like, I need to beat this guy. Didn't think it'd take me six more years, but it did. <laughs> and we finally got there. So. All right. 자 지금까지 라이언 테리와 함께 한번 우리 작은 이 쇼에 대해서 얘기해 봤는데 아, 되게 제 좋아하네요 재밌었고 네, 원래 조합 싸움이 재밌는 거죠 <웃음> 제가 만약에 슈미더바디 2를 한다면 아무튼 나와야 됩니다 아무튼 나와라 그러면 좀 나갈게 자 여기까지 하고요 제가 지금까지 마랑이었고 라이언 테리였습니다 감사합니다 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 <웃음>